All right, hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you didn't know, I'm Sierra Snow. Mm -hmm. That kind of rhymes, it sounds very arrogant, but I kind of like it. Anyways, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel, I guess, if you're new around these parts, I don't know. Before you even watch this video, I'd love if you like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, all of those things that people are supposed to tell you to do before you even watch a video and decide that you like somebody, I'm going to need you to like just assume you're going to like me and pray for the best, right? Okay, so, um, also don't forget to check out my Fleeting White music video and be on the lookout for Fairy Tale, which I... But anyways, so today I kind of thought that we would do a little bit of a try-on haul kind of you know, Instagram versus reality type of thing with Fashion Nova. Is it a new concept? No. We've all seen these videos, right? And I really didn't think that I would ever do one of these videos, but Fashion Nova sent me a notification that I still had a gift card from over a year ago that I had not used, worth $98, and so I decided to use it and purchase these items. Now, it was buy one, get one for free, plus my gift card, so I got a lot of stuff for relatively cheap. I don't particularly like Fashion Nova. I like their style a lot in a lot of ways, but it is fast fashion. Everybody looks the same. And their return policy is straight shit. <sighs> like, not gonna lie to you, I don't like that I can't just get my money back. Um, and they also don't give a fuck if your packages get stolen. That's the reason why I never use my gift card, because I lived in downtown Los Angeles, somebody stole a package, because DHL or whatever they're called, just tossed it over my gate, and um, somebody ripped it open, and they never came to my, like, actually knocked on my door and gave it to me, because I was home, because I came out that morning, so they don't care that they're, like, delivering services are crap, and their return policies are crap, so sue me. Please don't. I have no money. But I don't know why my opinion fucking matters. It doesn't. Probably. But if you're watching this video, I thought you might like to know. I see these videos a lot. I think they're kind of funny. They're kind of entertaining to see what your expectations versus reality are. I will say it's going to be a lot different. I'm not shaped like these girls who are extremely... Cur I'm curvy, but I'm like... I mean, these are fake, but I mean, I'm curvy like a natural girl is curvy. I'm not Jessica Rabbit curvy. I'm not Kim Kardashian curvy. Well, let's just get right into it. Let me take my pants off. Now, let's start with some shirts, because that's really all you can see right now anyways. Yeah. Okay, so the first thing that we got here is this really cute um, dragon shirt. Yeah, it's pretty cute. So this is the dragon tie-dye tunic, which is just a t-shirt. Um, and I'll put a picture of it over here. Um, my little Fashion Nova thing with the prices says it was 99 cents, but that's because, again, I got things, like, for free. Buy one, get one for free. So it's still a dollar, which is fine. Whatever. I needed to spend that. I wouldn't have spent that gift card otherwise. Um, but yeah, it's cute. It's a little, you can't tell, but it's a little shorter than I remember the picture. And that might just be because I ordered this, like, over two weeks ago. Um which might seem like a lot, but I live in Japan, so for something to get here within like a week or a week and a half time, I think it was about a week and a half, not even a full two weeks, was super impressive. Um, Cause again, not everybody has had a great experience with their shipping apparently, but my experience this time was pretty good. Um, but yeah, a little shorter than I remembered it being. And I thought it would be bigger. Like it looked bigger on the model. I don't know what size she was wearing. This is a medium. I mean, it fits great, but I was expecting it to be baggier. So this is the first one. So here's the next thing, which is cute. It's, this is a large, cause they didn't have um, a medium in this. I typically wear a medium in everything, even when I'm a little heavier as in right now. Um, I'm not back down to my normal weight quite yet, but I typically usually stay with a medium in it anything and if I lose a couple pounds I'm good. You know what I mean? But I uh, had to get a large but I liked the Mona Lisa eyes. I do wish probably not. I say that I wish it was more cropped but I think that's I have so many crop tops I never wear them. Um because I'm paranoid 
and self-conscious, but I mean, it's cute. I now, well, this one I almost feel like looks shorter in the, the picture that I'll put over here, but I, I could, again, I bought this a week and a half, two weeks ago, but it's cute, it's simple, and I think it was like $12, so, eh, it's whatever, but it's cute, right? It's cute. We'll give it that, it's cute. All right, this one's gonna be great. <sighs> and by that, I'm being stupid for a I like this top. It's, I mean, she's pretty sexy. This almost seems like very Halloweenish to me, in the sense like it should be like a part of a witch's costume or something. To me, when I saw it online, I was like, ooh, Coyote Ugly vibes. Anything that looks like Coyote Ugly vibes, I'm like, give it to me. Um, because again, I worked in a bar just like that, and you know, I reminisce sometimes, and I'm like, yes, give me that vibe. But I like it. It's just too small. Like, I think, well, I actually think if someone else was here, I could probably zip it up, but I can't tell. <laughs> yeah, right, bitch. <laughs> I don't mind this. I would wear this if I was still bartending, because you know, you gotta make money, right? But would I wear this out in town? Maybe with some high-waisted jeans, like a little bit high-waisted. So I used to live my life at medium, and maybe because I don't anymore, I should have gotten a large. But again, I'm trying to lose this weight. So this is the you can probably see my underwear line. Sorry, I'm not gonna take them off. I'm just don't care. Um, so this is the fourth thing that I got. Fourth, and it is like a tie-dye dress. And it is like mid-length. So this is the dress. I think it's cute. Um, need a little bit of a tan. I like these dresses during summertime. I went like two years ago. They were doing a bunch of tie-dyed stuff on Fashion Nova and I like bought that shit up because it just gave me 90s vibe, vibes. I loved it with a good choker. Beachy hair, which is super flat today. But I like it. It fits. It definitely hugs. I do like that they're kind of like two layers to it. That it's got like a the top and the bottom. I'm so classy. Um, but yeah, I do like that. It just kind of like sucks you in a little bit. And it again kind of keeps you from like people seeing your junk and that type of thing. Okay, so orange is not my color. Uh okay, so let's see. This dress is super cute though. Oops, keep falling out of my bra. Yeah. So this is incredibly see-through. <laughs> um, it's super cute, but it's really short. Like, my thick thighs are in here. I don't have thick thighs on the outside. I got thick thighs on the inside. So I get chub rub real nice. Now right now I'm fine. Things are kosher. However, put me out there with all that humidity and that hot air, Things are not working well. Like, maybe I should invest in some chafe cream, but you know, this is definitely one of those things that I would say, oh, you, you know, wear your Spanx, like a little, little short under here. But this, this is kind of short. I ate the buffet today too, so just ignore me. But like, it's kind of short. So yeah, I think this is pretty see-through. Which bums me out because it's really cute. It's very 90s to me. I think this would be cute with a pair of like white sneakers and like a couple of like pins in your hair. Like I kind of like really wanted to do my hair and makeup for the day for this outfit, but I was like rushing to get ready to go have a buffet with Lane. And so I didn't do what I wanted to do because it would take too much time. Anyways. I think that I think this is cute. It feels good. It's soft. It's breathable. Can I wear it out in public? I don't know. I might have to phone a friend and ask if they can see my ass. Let's just let's just pan down. I thought I was really gonna like this one, but now I don't know. 
Um, again, this is one I think would look better, a different hairstyle. Uh, I'm just trying to get skin tone, maybe a good tan. Um, but it feels good. It's like a decent quality in regards to like a bodycon. It's it's got that bodycon esque feel. Um, and it's kind of like a midi dress. It hits me like right above my knee. Uh, I like this. It's cute. I don't think it's very breathable in the pit area. If you're anything like me and you sweat a lot. But it's it's cute. The, the stripes aren't actually as bad as I thought they would be. They are kind of whoa up in here. But everywhere, I don't feel like I look too wide. Because typically this looks really wide uh, when I wear horizontal stripes. But it's definitely cute. She's short. Um, would I ever wear this in public? I don't know. Um, you know, makes me a little nervous. Uh, I need to cut these things off. I fucking hate these things. I always cut them off. Um, it's cute from the front. It's very 90s. It gives me 90s vibes. Um, which is why I bought it. I bought this in a large. I don't know what made me buy it in a large. Uh, probably because I knew that, like, this was going to be tiny. This part's a little baggy where this like this is. That's probably why I don't like it because it doesn't like it's just kind of hanging back there all sad. But um I think this is cute. I like the burnt velvet or burnout, I think is what it's called. I just me and backless dresses don't get along because I do not have a beautiful sculpted back and I've got some really crappy tattoos that I need to get burnt off my skin. <laughs> and covered up with something else. Um, so let's do the next one that also has a similar back like this. So I've saved these for last because I really didn't want to put them on because I knew they would be hard to put on. All right. So this is the last dress that I have before I move on to jeans. Um, I actually really like this. It gives me very 70s hippie vibes, which is why I bought it. It's a maxi dress, so Use your imagination, it goes down to the floor. You don't need to see my gross toes right now. It does have a nice little toot toot thing, like a little slip underneath it, uh, which is nice that it's kind of short. But this is cute. The back is cute. Again, I just don't, I'm really paranoid. When my back, I get back knee, which is gross, but it happens. It's happened my whole life. It's a lot better than it used to be. Just don't judge me. It's just a thing. I have it under control as much as I can. And I have ugly tattoos. So, oh, that's actually surprisingly covered. So that's, you know, you can probably see some of my back me now. But it's got kind of like an interesting little design with a halter top. I actually really like this. I could definitely see myself wearing this, like, out to lunch. Um, with some snakes. Okay, so we are back in the, oh my god, Mona Lisa top, just for all intents and purposes. Um, I do have a different top I can put on. Whatever, it's fine. Let's hope, right? I don't think that this top looks good with these jeans. I'll give you that. Um, these jeans are called the Get Over Yourself Boyfriend Jeans. They're sassy. They're here. Um, they fit. They're kind of like a medium rise. So it's kind of under my belly button. There's a little bit of gapping happening here. Um, probably because my booty's a little bit lower. I don't have butt on my back. Um, I'm not saying that that's not sexy because it totally is. It's just not there for me. So uh, I like the wash. There's not a lot of stretch to them, which I kind of thought that Fashion Nova jeans would have a little bit more. I've never bought Fashion Nova jeans, by the way. Um, and I know these are probably not like the infamous Fashion Nova jeans. Um, but here's there's a little stretch that hurts incredibly bad. 
that. There's a little bit of stretch in them, but not a lot, especially not in the waistband or anything. Um, let me just tilt this down so you can like see all of the jean. Sorry, you can see my dog's ball. What, whoa, is that super crooked? Is it, what are we living with right now? I don't know. This may be crooked, but here's what they look like. I feel like my butt's a little smashed in these. Just a, just a smooch. Like not a huge like pancake ass, but it definitely, it feels like there's more room up here than there is down here. And I've got nothing up here to fill this up. I've got more down here. Oh my God, is my ass saggy? Yeah, whatever, it's fine. Um, this is the back, a little blanket. So they're cute. I mean, they're just basic mom jeans. Um, I'll put the price tag somewhere down there. But let me, let me go ahead. These look tiny. No, no, no. These are stretched though. No, no, they don't. Oh man. Oh, oh, oh. Surprise. Oh, they're still a little tight though. Okay. Those are tight. These are tight. Ooh, I don't think I like the bottoms. Okay, so here's the next pair of jeans. Um, I don't think that I'm living for the way the ankles kind of move out like that. Um, yeah. Summer nights high distressed jeans. So these are, here, I'll just show you the back really quick. Um, let me get it back up in your face. So these are a lot tighter. They're both a size nine. Um, Hi, welcome to my story. I'm size nine. <laughs> um, but they're cute. They're tight. I think if I again lost the weight that I'm trying to lose, these would fit great comfortably. Um, they're not bad. They're they're high rise jeans. Uh, I like the washing stuff on them. I'm not a super fan of the ankle but that's just me trying to probably get used to mom jeans. I bought a few pair of mom jeans. They make me feel very 90s. I love that. Um, but I still have a love-hate with that like loose cup at the bottom. But they're okay. They're just a little tight. And I, when I looked at them, they looked really tiny. So take that for what you want. That was my dry on haul. Uh, what, what was the things that I bought, like the pictures? Sure, yeah. Um, did they fit like I thought they would? Yeah, because I didn't think that they would fit super great. I didn't think that they would fit super poorly. They were kind of run of the mill. Um, you know, like I like what I bought. I probably, again, I'm not gonna return anything because I didn't plan on buying anything um, from Fashion Nova at all until I realized that I had spent money with them uh, and never got it back nor spent it again. So, you know, I like what I got. I will try to wear what I purchased for more than just a photo shoot. Some of it, I'm not gonna lie, I will just use it for like some sort of cute photo because again, like I kind of wear jeans everywhere or leggings because I have really thick inner thighs. Um, I've never been a girl to even as a kid, I hated wearing shorts until I finally wore shorts and I was like, oh my God, my legs can breathe. It's so much cooler outside. But then my thighs got fat. So, you know, that killed my shorts vibe. And I never like wearing dresses or skirts. So do I buy them? I do, because sometimes I like to think that I'm a lady, but I typically wear graphic t-shirts and jeans or a basic t-shirt that I started this video in with jeans or leggings. That's just, if I was a cartoon, it would be, my cartoon would have a graphic t-shirt on with holy jeans and a pair of sneakers. It just, it is what it is. Yeah. It's not a new concept, but I thought we would try it. I thought we would see how we liked it. Let me know what you think of Fashion Nova down in the comments below. Do you shop there? Do you not go fuck? Have you had good experiences? Have you had mediocre experiences or horrible experiences? Do you choose not to shop fast fashion at all because you don't agree with it and you've got awesome thrift stores or you're just rich, I don't know. 
Let me know in the comments below. I love thrifting. It's just really hard out in Japan. Found a Harley Davidson shirt I liked. It was 50 bucks in a thrift store. So I was like, wow, this is not thrifting at all. Nonetheless, I digress. Let me know what you thought of the video. Let me know what else you might want to see. Um, I'm trying to come up with concepts. Again, it's just hard to think of concepts that haven't already been done and things that might actually be interesting in between me working on, excuse me, music stuff. So yeah, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, check out my music video and all that other things. That's only two songs right now, but please check it out. Oh yeah, and uh, follow me on my social medias on Instagram at Sierra Snow underscore C or Twitter, which is Sierra Snow Photo or my Snapchat, which is I'll link it down below because I can't remember it. I do use it. I just want to be it. It's under. Anyways, follow me on those because I need more friends. I sit at home alone a lot because I'm in Japan and I don't have a lot to do out here. I have a lot to do, but you know, do it alone. It's kind of lame, you know? So I love to check on social medias. I need to put a bra back on. To the bras. It. Oh, that's the worst. Ew. That's embarrassing. It's the humidity and sweating everywhere. Oh my. Oh my. It's got a little slip on the right or your left. And Not after buffet day. Not after cheat day. No ma'am. No ma'am. Okay. Was that good? Was that good for you? Okay. <sighs>